Hi, my name is Ramesh and in this video, I will talk about the crash of Russian Kogali Mavi of flight 9268 or Metrojet flight 9268 in Sinai Peninsula three days ago. I will talk about the factors that might have contributed to this unusual and sudden crash in which 224 people have lost their lives. Flight 9268 had reached a safe cruising altitude of 33,000 feet and then suddenly it started losing the airspeed and the altitude started dropping alarmingly at the rate of 6,000 feet per minute. Signal from the aircraft was lost within two minutes suggesting that the pilots were in an impossible situation to control the plane. What must have gone wrong? What caused this sudden crash? I will share my opinion about possible causes in this video. Flight 9268 was on autopilot and the pilots were monitoring and watching the progress of the plane when some catastrophic failure happened. When the plane started falling from the sky at an abnormal rate of 6,000 feet per minute, it broke into pieces in midair due to extreme structural forces and stresses. The cockpits of Airbus A321 planes is equipped with sophisticated electronics with automatic flight control management systems. And so these planes will not experience sudden structural failures unless it has something to do with previous maintenance issues. There are 1,140 Airbus A321 planes in operation worldwide presently, of which 200 are in USA. Let me list out what are the most probable causes for this crash based on the available data and parameters. Flight 9268 was cruising steadily at an altitude of 33,500 feet with a speed of 740 kilometers per hour. At this point, the altitude remained same, but the speed started increasing. The plane was on autopilot and it seems to me that airspeed started falling and the computers increased the speed to maintain the same altitude of 33,000 feet. At that point, some unusual catastrophic failure was about to happen. After a minute, something terrible happened and the plane started losing both altitude and speed. The airplane had started falling vertically. Flight 9268 was cruising at 33,500 feet and it was in the safest section of the flight. Over 90% of accidents happen during takeoff and landings as the airplane is subjected to extreme forces and stresses. But after reaching 33,500 feet, the plane should have traveled safely as everything in the cockpit becomes calm, routine and quiet. But unfortunately, the airplane had lost speed and altitude in a very dramatic way and here is my opinion reasoning based on the available data and parameters. Metrojet Flight 9268 took off from Sharm El Sheikh Airport on 31st October early morning, disappeared from radar screens 23 minutes after takeoff. Pilots reported technical problems and requested a landing at the nearest airport before the plane went missing. Reached 33,500 feet and was travelling with a speed of 748 kilometers per hour and suddenly speed dropped to 341 kilometers per hour and the airplane fell to 29,925 feet. After a few seconds, the speed dropped to 172 kilometers per hour and the altitude fell to 28,375 feet. From its altitude of 33,000 feet, the plane suddenly dropped 6,000 feet in just 22 seconds. Within 30 seconds, speed dropped from 739 km per hour to just around 160 km per hour, slower than the forward speed needed to maintain safe flight in air. After reaching 160 km per hour, flight 9268 went down too fast due to its weight. 
then the flight 9268 had fallen vertically from the sky and broke into pieces in mid air there was no distress call from the pilots something unusual happened suddenly and instantly without giving time for pilots to respond pilots could not take control of that emergency situation which affected the plane's speed and altitude many bodies on the ground had seat belts fastened to their seats confirms that pilots announced emergency on board flight 9268 had fallen almost vertically from the sky and disappeared from the radar very quickly and within 2 minutes tail section was far away from the main fuselage and the debris was scattered over a large area of 20 square kilometers the weather was calm sunny with clear sky the plane was on fly by wire autopilot and pilots were just monitoring the progress the tail portion of this doomed jet was damaged badly in 2001 while landing at cairo airport and the repairs took 3 months let me list out what are the most probable causes for this crash based on the available data and parameters number 1 structural failure near the tail section by looking at the data i think that some portion of the structure near the tail or the entire tail broke apart and caused serious decompression that explains the sudden loss of speed and vertical fall if the speed had been decreasing gradually due to other problems the plane would not have dropped vertically and would have traveled in forward direction for some time sudden aerodynamic stall indicates some catastrophic structural failure like a portion of fuselage tearing off near the tail tail section debris was located far away from the main fuselage confirms this assumption the pattern and type of metal fractures can indicate how the plane broke apart analysis of the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder will pinpoint the altitude at which tail broke apart from the main fuselage as black boxes are located in the rear of the plane the suddenness of this crash is highly unusual according to news reports the pilot had reported a technical problem and a diversion to the nearest airport but the problem was so severe that his plan was overtaken by events and the airplane literally fell out of the sky from its cruising altitude of 33500 feet the wreckage shows no signs of a fire or an engine related explosion the tail portion of the plane was damaged badly in 2001 while landing at cairo airport and if the repairs and maintenance were not carried out exactly as per the manufacturer's manual rules the problems could have taken years to progress and reached a critical stage at the time of the disaster minor cracks that are not visible to the naked eye from outside might have developed in 2001 during the tail strike and could have progressed slowly to a major structural failure over the period of time till this disaster if any repairs were carried out on the rear bulkhead which is the critical seal in the cabin's pressurization system investigators would focus on the maintenance rule books if repairs to the tail and subsequent maintenance checks were not up to the rule books of the manufacturer clues to the mystery will surface in the event of a failure of this bulkhead the airplane would have suffered a sudden and potentially explosive decompression final recorded altitude was 31000 feet and some structural failure might have occurred at that point and flight data recorder will give definite clues to this number 2 structural failure in other areas and mechanical problems structural failure would have happened in other areas of the structure and this might have caused decompression quick loss of speed and altitude pilots faced an impossible situation After initial analysis of the data from flight radar 24 it appeared that the airplane experienced an aerodynamic stall the air speed over the wings was very low and so there is not enough air flow over the wings to produce the lift how can an airplane that was traveling at 740 km per hour can experience a stall condition so suddenly unless the plane experienced some mechanical problems structural failure or combination of both number 3 explosion in the fuel tank or fuel lines causing structural damage 
Due to fuel tank or fuel line explosion, pilots would lose control of the plane. If serious problems develop in hydraulic and electronic systems, that causes the plane to lose speed and altitude. But the plane was flying on autopilot and any minor problems would have been corrected by the plane's computers. But what causes this type of failure? All the above causes discussed have an indirect connection with previous maintenance issues as Airbus A321 is a very sophisticated and proven airplane with excellent safety record. It is absolutely impossible for Airbus A321 plane to go down in this manner if all the maintenance were carried out as per the rule books. Key focus of the investigation team would be on the maintenance related repairs and issues. Flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder were recovered and they are in good condition. Cockpit voice recorder will reveal the conversation between the pilots, what they were saying to each other, what they told to air traffic control, what warning alarms were sounding in the cockpit and the flight data recorder will reveal how the engines and other flight systems were functioning, why the speed started dropping, what switches the pilots activated and what they did with the controls and all details related to important flight parameters etc. Investigators would be able to have a preliminary look at what must have happened within a matter of days or weeks in this case. However, releasing the final report may take more than a year. I will now explain about some options or problems which rule themselves out. A. Engine explosion. After examining the photos of the engines on ground, there is no evidence of an engine explosion. Even assuming that both engines exploded in, at the same time, the plane would have continued its forward journey for some time due to moment of inertia as it was traveling at 740 km per hour. If engines blow out or explode, still the plane can travel for up to 15 to 20 minutes if there is no damage to its structure. It will just become a glider at 33,500 feet. By maneuvering the plane with nose pointing down and following series of steps, pilots can slow down the design. B. Electrical problems. Even if there is serious electrical problem, there will be a backup generator at the rear for emergency and the pilot still can use some systems to control the plane. Flight 9268 could travel for some time and pilots would have got time to do something. Since the plane lost the speed and altitude suddenly, electrical problems can be ruled out. C. If fuel tank leaks and all fuel was drained, flight 9268 could still fly for some time before it hits the ground. Descent will be gradual and at the rate of distance would be 1000 feet to 2000 feet per minute. So, the most likely cause for this crash is a catastrophic structural failure near the tail and this may have something to do with previous maintenance issues. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe now and stay tuned for my new releases as the investigators may unscramble the mystery behind this crash in the coming days or weeks.